is time. It is time. It is time to watch this video. Totally unhinged curse guns image. It is time. Yes, yes. It is time. Let's go. <coughs> what a terrible day to have eyes. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of Cursed Gun Images. Haven't had one of these in a while. Look, I know I saw some of his videos, but my real question is, like, why does he say mother lovers? Why not just say motherfuckers, like the true egg AK guy? <laughs> just say motherfuckers. While? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is the segment where you guys find some of the most... Right, so for people who don't know, every time I say it is time, it means it, it's a video for YouTube. It's a possibility. But this one is a definite. <laughs> Heinous shit from all over the internet, whether it be photos of guns, uh, Bubba guns, whatever. You send them over to me, and then I break them down and respond to them. It's actually been a while since we've done one of these videos, and you guys have not stopped sending me... <coughs> content for this so we have mm -hmm. some particularly bad ones this episode so cheers to that got me some liquid courage and with that let's go ahead and dive right on in let's start out with some of i like how me and this guy drink at the same time but i'm not drinking any whiskey or anything i'm drinking fucking gamer subs with a waifu cup <laughs> of my favorites police seizures <coughs> not like police having a seizure guns seized by police little different. How about this one from the Daily City Police Department? This looks like a completely home-built sheet metal Mac-10 submachine machine gun. It says they conducted a- Wait, what? This is a ho homemade? Huh? Homemade? Hey, this is fucking based. At a traffic stop on March 14th, 2023, the driver, a 34-year-old male out of San Francisco, of fucking course, homie was a uh, California dreamin', had a warrant for his arrest and was in possession of an Uzi-style zip gun. Uh, I hate that they called it Uzi-style because this is an <coughs> Uzi, that is a Mac-10. It's not a fucking Uzi, but uh, that's just my tism, I guess. Ammunition, drug paraphernalia, and a controlled substance. Let's guess what that was. He was booked at a San Mateo County Jail on several felony charges. I love that next to it is a homemade pistol magazine that very clearly does not go to this weapon. I just want to know if this fucking thing works, dude. It's even got a threaded barrel with a thread pitch that does not look like it takes any sort of gun accessory, so mm -hmm. I'm just real fucking curious on this one. <laughs> Direct to oil filter thread. I don't know if anybody's made this joke so far. Honestly, to me, this just looks like a fucking T-pose gun. Wait, is it a fucking... Wait, 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 wait. Is that... <clears throat> is that the thing is is that a screw the fuck are but i've begun to affectionately refer to this one as the crack 10. let's be honest it was too easy this next one is okay, courtesy of the placer county sheriff department now, you guys might remember from a previous episode, we did talk about the Smith & Methson, a completely home-built... I, I... A completely home-built Smith & Weston rifle? <laughs> That's not even a rifle. What the fuck is that? What did the shit... Is that a... That, that's a spring. What is this even for? What is this thing even... I guess it's to make sure it's secure? I don't, this is so weird. Is that a, is that a flashlight? That's a fucking flashlight, yes. I call it a flashlight. I know it's a flashlight, but I call it a flashlight. That's a fucking flashlight. I guess technically a gun. Don't do drugs, kids. And if you do, no heroin or meth. They seriously fuck you up. The internet coined this one the Smith and Methson, but this next one I feel like fits the bill a little better. Smith and Wesson. This one looks like an actual Smith and Wesson handgun that has been just <laughs> absolutely skull fucked with an erector set. Because clearly every shitty street nine millimeter handgun needs an optic ring. Is it a double? Is it a double scope? That's a short scope and that's a long scope. 
What am I watching? What the fuck am I watching? Rail on the top. Because you know, if you attach a red dot to something, the bullet's gonna go where the dot goes, no matter how much of a 20 degree angle it happens to be sitting at. So depending on the distance, you're gonna be assassinating the shit out of the dirt in front of whatever you're trying to hit. On top of that, I love the modified AR-15 grip that he's got right up there in the front, which as it turns out is a vertical grip on a, on a pistol. Um, that's illegal. <laughs> Yeah, but how is the fucking bullets going to come out of that? Maybe it doesn't. That's so bad. I believe that becomes an NFA item, like an AOW, as soon as you do that. So now on top of whatever crime you committed against, you know, Samuel Colt and John Moses Browning. Gun uh, Jesus has left the chat. Uh, by making a pistol this ugly. <laughs> you've also committed a literal felony, which adds to the charges of possession of whatever the hell substance you were on while you were making this. Now, this next one may not be from a police seizure, but it is from a gold mine of cursed gun images. I'm referring to, of course, Boomer Facebook groups. And on top of that, it's in New Jersey. A buddy of mine said he can mill my slide for an optic, but this is his first time doing it. Should we go deeper or is this a good height? Um. Um. Uh. <laughs> I am new to guns, but I'm sure that's not supposed to happen. I am up <laughs> And does anyone have templates for the holes? Should you go deeper? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just go ahead and mill the rest of that slide away because it's garbage. You can throw it in the trash now. I know some of you watching this aren't quite old enough to understand this premise, but when your buddy says he can do it cheaper, that is rarely a good choice. Mm -hmm. Why buy once, cry once, when you can just buy this and cry for the entire duration of your ownership? Well, to be fair, guns is like a huge thing in America, right? So some people can just scam other people with like, oh, this gun costs $2,000 because history. But in actuality, it's fucking useless and you can't even fucking shoot it. It's like, like a fake gun, you know? See, the thing about a mill is it's kind of like one of those magic monkey's paws, right? It's going to do exactly what you tell it to do. So if you have no idea what to ask it to do, good luck, have fun. I would bet $30 this gentleman still tried to weld a picket any route to that. Now, I'm gonna have to prepare you for these next couple. You see, there weren't stuff that was originally sent in, they were just stuff that I happened to find on Gunbroker. I have a crippling gun buying addiction, you guys know this by now. And by utter- Yeah, I can see an RPG, I can see a fucking AK, I can see an AR. I can see- <laughs> I can see a shorty. I can see- sh I can see a fucking sniper rifle. This guy loves guns. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfect. Hey, look, if any intruder goes into your house, they're fucked. They're absolutely fucked. For happenstance, sometimes you come across some heinous shit, such as this next one, the STG-44 at home. Excuse me, what? You know what's scarier than all these sketchy cursed guns? Being unprotected online. The average person has a ton of personal information available online, even just through Google. Being unprotected online. Look, let me give you guys a good sponsor right now. Wear a fucking condom. If you wear a condom in real life, your internet is also protected. Not just your penis, but also the internet. <laughs> Turns out, there's a ton of people out there that profit off of selling your information. Spammers, telemarketers, robocallers. Hey, just wear a condom. If you want protection on your guns, put a condom on your gun. <laughs> Pretty much everybody except the people you want having your information. Like those hot singles in my area. <laughs> the internet keeps telling me. I am so cringe. Don't fall for it. <laughs> but the reason I'm talking about all of this is because this video is brought to you by Aura. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and then automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. They'll even opt you out of stuff like junk mail and telemarketing lists. And you can use my link down below in the description and in the pinned comment, which is aura.com slash Brandon. When you do that, you can get two weeks for free and see how many data brokers are out there selling your information. But Aura's got a bunch of other cool stuff. They've got a VPN, password manager, and real-time credit and identity <coughs> theft monitoring. Any kind of internet security thing you can think of wrapped into one convenient app. So go ahead, use my link or the QR code on the screen, try it out for yourself.
see how much of your personal information is being sold out there on the cyberspace. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring the video. Back to Curse Gun Images. Yeah, no worries. But to be fair, when it comes to sponsor, there is only one sponsor I will actually accept, and that is Cock and Ball Torture. The Cock and Ball Torture Sponsorship. Now that is a sponsorship worth spon- it's, it's worth the sponsor. What a terrible day to- Just my current opinion. <laughs> have eyes. So what's funny about this is if you zoom out, it actually doesn't look too bad. Kind of like an unrestored classic car, or that four you almost took home from the bar the other night. But if you look into this, oh God, okay. I should have to tell you, this is not an STG44. <laughs> this is like an HK clone. So this is a C93 Sporter. So think about like a, a roller lock, uh, like a G3 or a Setme or something like that, but in 5.56. This gentleman mocked it up to look like an STG44 by absolutely hulk smashing what's probably an actual stg44 handguard onto this fucking thing like the barrel assembly actually looks fairly legit like that gas block front sight block that all looks like real stg44 the handguard and everything it looks like the front assembly it belongs to an stg just looks like he took all those components from an stg44 took a c93 and just went now kith with a hammer there was a hammer involved i hate this the more i look at it i think that's the top <laughs> oh my god okay i seriously did just notice that that's the top of like an ak rear sight block let me find something real quick <laughs> might be a little hard to see because of the zenico furniture i've got on this one but it looks like a rear sight block of uh, oh, yeah, the ak right here uh, welded onto the top of it and then just like a look like stg44 stock on the rear something relating to an stg44 grip panel on the the pistol grip there this is a C93 that identifies as a string. And he sells it for $2,165. Hey, yo. <laughs> and has had several platform affirming surgeries since then to reflect that. Of course, this is an abomination, but I don't blame the guy for wanting an STG44. We actually just finished the rebuild on our STG44, and we're probably gonna be doing a video on that fairly soon. So if you guys wanna see me do a full breakdown on a real World War II German STG44, go ahead and subscribe. YouTube has a habit of unsubscribing a lot of people from the channel. So if you wanna make sure you stay up to date on the new videos that we do, go ahead and double check real quick and go ahead and hit that notification bell while you're there. And you know what, if you're feeling frisky, leave a like. Either way, thank you for your service. But that's not the only horrible mismatch I found on Gunbroker. Feast your eyes on the P-50 Star Wars Prop Gun Blaster. If you ever wondered what happens when you mesh together the Sedai of PPS-43-52 submachine gun with the kel P-50, I sure as fuck haven't. But that's why we have people like this gentleman who dare to dream. And by that, I mean literally just sell the top half of a kel P-50 zip-tied to a PPS-43-52. And I'm not gonna lie. Is this stupid and non-functional? Yeah. Does it look kinda dope? All right, guilty. Yeah, it, it does. No, it does. It looks cursed as fuck to me. I am sorry. I'm not into. I, I am new to guns. I haven't been into guns for a long, long time. But to me, I'm sorry that look. That looks cursed. It pulls off the Star Wars prop look pretty good. So <laughs> I, you know what? I'm gonna give it a pass. I'm just hoping these were spare parts and there weren't two perfectly functional guns that were sacrificed for this thing. Don of the next <laughs> cursed gun broker find. Do you like trench shotguns? I don't know why I said that, kind of like, uh, do you like Huey Lewis on the news? Of course you do, everybody likes trench shotguns. Then why wouldn't you want this custom Winchester Model 1887 20 inch 12 gauge pistol grip pump shotgun from 1919? It survived 104 years just to be bubbled and put on gun broker. I kind of heard that Sarah McLaughlin commercial, you know, in the arms of an angel, like playing in the background when I first fucking saw this. For just however the fuck much this weapon is selling for, you can take home a trench shotgun and put the act. Zoe Ashley likes the anarchy. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Nice. Actual stock back on it. Now moving on to something that you guys have sent me a ton, actually. To Ukraine. Everybody likes cranks. Cranks are fucking rad. Everybody likes belt feds. Belt feds are even more rad. Well, let's not get carried away. Belt feds are really rad. What if you had a belt fed crick? Well, this crazy Ivan seems to have figured that out. This is from a uh, TikTok that you guys have sent me just- What the fuck? 
clips of uh, nonstop for like the last two weeks. Pretty much as soon as this came out, I was just, my inbox was flooded with this. I don't know who needs to hear this, but th this is a joke. There are so many people that are sending me this, like, look at this belt fed 762x54R crank off. Even in part of the video itself, like he pans over and his buddy like just shows he took the bolt carrier group and recoil spring and shit out. Like he just shoved the PKM belt through this thing and slammed the top cover down. It's funny to see like so many like terminally online motherfuckers that play too much Call of Duty. What am I watching? Studio. Like, whoa, <laughs> he I doubt that works. That, I don't think that would work. I would be surprised if it would. I would be very surprised if it would. Now the belt fed attachment for his AK. If you want a belt fed AK and 7.62 by 54R, I got good news for you. It's, it's the PKM. It's about as close as you're gonna get. Which, by the way, was also made by Mikhail Kalashnikov, if you didn't know. Fun fact of the day. Now, speaking of Ukraine, this next one is not from there. <laughs> Looks like it could be though. And I think that's what it was originally posted as when I first saw it. Introducing the riser to end all risers which looks like it's attached to like an MG42 slash MG3. This is the kind of riser that you use for a red dot if you're one of those Camino cloners from Star Wars. <laughs> and looking at it closer, I think he's actually got like a PEC unit in front of that, like an IR laser unit. But judging by the kit of his friend and the fact that they're, you know, assaulting a fairly, you know, industrial looking building, and based on the fact that this looks, you know, 3D printed as hell and really jank, kind of thing that wouldn't survive MG. I like how they're outside holding a gun as well as, yeah. 42 recoil. I'm assuming this is airsoft. If I'm... What that neck do though? Hey, look, to be fair, the longer the neck, the bigger cock you can take. Because, you know, you can just suck the whole thing without gagging. It's cool. It's a quality of life. Stop bulking. Not correct. And this is actually real from Ukraine. First of all, I'm Stop sorry. Bulking. And second of all, Ukraine is down bad, worse than I thought. Pretty sure it's fucking tape around the base, actually. But I saw this on Twitter and Stop I fucking bulking. love that place because the first thing that I saw as a response was this picture. Mankind was <laughs> not ready for the internet. The only thing that would make this better is if this was actually combat footage. You post this epic assault on a compound defending your homeland and just to get memed on on Twitter with a fucking mirrored crab claw Photoshop. 2023, man, it's a hell of a place. Next up, we have one that I've actually wanted to give a shout out to for a minute now. We just haven't done one of these in a while. So you guys remember on a very old episode, we talked about the uh, the lever action AK looking mock-up, right? Something about the Soviet John Wayne kind of look. Is it a... Is that a lever action a a a a k? Is that a lever action a k? What the fuck? That's a lever action. Look, I one of my favorite guns are lever action shotguns. Number one, you look really cool using it, especially when you spin it. Secondly. The way how you just move with the hands with the lever is fucking cool as well without even the spinning. And third, you look like you know what you're fucking doing. And you put a lever action on a fucking AK. What in the actual fuck am I watching? <laughs> is it supposed to be Mare Legs a a AK? Well, they fucking ruined it. <laughs> look, is it a meme? Absolutely. Yep. But you know what we say here? Don't let your dreams be memes. Make your memes come true. So we have this guy on Instagram, Missile Peludo, who actually made a lever action AK from a Saiga style unconverted AK. I saw this original part uh, before I saw any of the rest of it. And I thought like, oh, okay, well you made like a functional like lever looking thing on the bottom of a Saiga. That's pretty cool. But like, it doesn't actually work the gun, right? And then I saw in a later video, it actually fucking works. It looks like he's got a string on the very back of that lever there uh, that's pulling through the back of the bolt carrier and it's pulling the bolt carrier back to cycle the gun, which is kind of fucking neat. I'm not gonna lie. Is it is it the sturdiest setup? I don't know. Does it work? It appears to. I just hope he welded up the gas port. That'd be a little uncomfortable to be shooting that gun and then as it's cycling, that lever is just whipping back and forth at mock fuck. Is the concept cursed as hell? Yes. Probably. But at the same time, AK Smith to AK Smith, 
Hats off to you, sir. Sometimes in the sake of fun, you have to stop asking why and start asking why not. Until you get to this. N <laughs> now I'm asking wh why. So got a 3D printed mag there, and it looks like a parts kit, an AK parts kit that was very cool. <laughs> I think this is like a scuffed version of a fucking nerf gun. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's so fucking scuff. <laughs> we welded together um, where the rivets were supposed to be. On top of being, you know, brightly colored and rusty give it as plus, shit. Give it like an AK and give plastic surgery. You're absolutely correct. And apparently You're absolutely correct. Oh, 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 bonus points for the tactical hose clamp up front with that painted green weapon light. It's not even a weapon light. It's, it's a like green flashlight. Pocket flashlight. Steel casing as a charging handle. Not altogether cursed, just in this exact setup. It, you know. Hey, look, come on, man. That is, that is a flashlight for Shrek. Because it is green. Come on. It's, it, it's you know, a, I can't complain. It adds to the... It's smart. To the flair. I love that the dust cover also has very obvious welds on the top of it, too, where he tried to probably weld an optic rail or something like that, like a pick rail. Yeah, okay, that was a pretty good reminder of why sometimes we ask why and not why not. As a Shrek light. <laughs> good one. A little bit of a bonus, good. you guys might remember that me and Cody uh, went down to Nashville recently. Hung out with a couple of cool cops who did some cool things and saved some lives. And with that in mind, I present to you the ultimate unstoppable force meets immovable object. I present to you the Caltech Sub-2000 with an LVPO on it. This is an SMG, right? Is this an SMG with a sniper scope? What in the actual fuck? You fucking what? I feel like I just fucking divided by zero. If you don't get that joke, stay innocent. I don't get it. And I'll stay innocent. Thank you. <laughs> Last couple of guns weren't too bad. I feel like we blew our load. Well, I can't, I can't technically, I can't technically say that I'm innocent because I watch Boku no Pico. Oh, too early, so to speak. I'm sure you guys can sympathize. And when I watch Boku no Pico, that's when my childhood kind of got ruined. Well, I wouldn't say childhood, but more like... My teenage hood got ruined. <laughs> I feel like we showed all the really cursed guns right up front. There's no way at the very end we could top it with. Oh, I I, uh, I don't have a there's a lot going on. Uh... Well, thank you guys for tuning in on another episode of Curse. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Is this another T-Post gun? That is extremely rusted. I don't understand <laughs> why this going on. How do you even what? Oh, thank you, Mac Ten. Thanks for tuning in on another episode of Cursed Gun Images. If you have your own suggestions, be sure to send them in. But if you'd like to watch some of the other episodes of Cursed Gun Images to make sure that you're not sending in a duplicate, we've got the playlist down below where you can watch Cursed Gun Images to your heart's content. We got a lot of cool content coming up. We got a Darwin Awards video coming up, some cool range stuff. I've been waiting to show you guys. Super excited for it. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Good video. I like it. Good video. Be likey.